January 44, German turn. They're gonna build a whole pile of stuff. They're building five subs, an advanced sub, uh, two jets, and they're gonna finish off those two light carriers and start uh, do the last stage of the, or move the large carrier to stage two on the build chart. So these things here. So I'm just gonna move them forward now. All right, so these are placed this turn. That one's moved forward and about two jets that'll go on those so there we go that's done um what else do we have here um yeah we got some combat moves i've realized that my chance to eliminate the british fleet is a turn ago and i failed to get to most of it so we're just gonna stop so what we've done is we've done an amphibious assault here in uh, the Netherlands. So let me grab my pointy stick here. See the other one's way over there. Um, so these guys here are doing a land attack with the commander. And I believe I have a jet, a fighter, and a medium bomber all from... Uh, they, were, they started off down here at an air base. So they moved one two three four to get there and they still have one or two moves left depending on what type of unit they are and i'll let you out moppy see you later <clears throat> and i'm also doing a land attack here so these five tanks i think it's five maybe it's six and these five advanced mechs are going to be attacking the netherlands along with an amphibious assault of one dude that got skipped up from there and two um sorry three marines that got scooped up from western germany and it's all in this from this sea zone here all right um so that's on the netherlands i'll combine with this attack of that and i also brought in a jet and a regular fighter from scotland so they'll have one move left as well. All right, I'm trying to think of what else I might be missing. Oh, we're gonna bomb that factory again. Both of them are gonna hit the factory. Since the British are down to $13, they do have a wartime economy roll from last turn of nine, but let's make them waste it on a factory <laughs> instead of on a unit. That's the way we're looking right now. All right, so that is the German turn. I got a bunch of non-combat moves I'd like to make. Not too many, but I'll do those later. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's about sums it. Oh, yeah, we were going to convoy the British over here again. But we're going to move that guy down to here. Uh, that way we can convoy the British. And that'll be on this line up here with the one escort. And then we're going to do the same thing with this coastal sub. But we're going to move this out as a med here. We're going to put it over there as well. And we're going to convoy. We're going to leave the Italians to the med line. And we're going to convoy the southern line here with no escort on that guy. All right. So, well, hey, look at that. We got a fancy... Sitting on a militia or something. There we go. So let's do these convoys. All right, we've got. Oh, and I'm forced to do. Uh, I'm forced to do uh, a tech roll with Germany. Not forced, but I have a free one. So we're just going to do that roll now, and it will be on long range aircraft. Eleven. We got that. Perfect. Now convoys. The this guy on this line. He's going to be black and he's plus one. There's no escort. And that doesn't matter because uh, two against six is not high enough. Now the advanced sub is plus four against um, plus four for the black. And there's one one escort up in season 24 there right by the British Isles. So that one is plus one. So plus four for the black, plus one for the red. So five plus four is nine. And nine minus five is a four dollar difference. So these sad, sad 
people in the British Isles. They're going to lose four bucks. That's fine. I mean, I need to make change for them. Remind me never to give the the British uh, ten and just give them fives and fives and ones. So they lost four bucks on this line. All right. So we're just going to leave that like that. That way we know. And we'll just leave that over there. That way the Italians, if they convoy that line or whatever, we don't want to take too much money from them. It'd be totally unfair. And in a game, you wouldn't do that. If somebody was taking six dollars and then the uh, Italians took six and they lost 12 bucks on that line and 12 bucks on this line, you don't even make that much money. That's, that's insane. What are you supposed to do? Pay from next turn? Yeah, so we gotta keep it at least mildly realistic. Um, next, we're going to do the the D6 strategic rocket hits on the factory in Britain. It's got one damage right now, and it can take up to 20. So hopefully we'll get an extra 12 on there. And you know what? Six ain't bad. So I'm just going to walk around, and I'm going to grab a couple of... Uh, Before we forget, a couple of greens, because my greens count for threes. And there we go. We've got $6, $7 damage on there. So they can't build anything until they have it down to four. And they can build one unit. If they bring it down to three, then they can build two, and so on. All right. Um, we do have some attacks, though. So let's take a look here. Should we do the... Four bombardments with, uh, combined with the uh, with the um, with the amphibious assault. There we got three marines and an infantry up here in the Netherlands. So we've got three marines and an infantry, but we're going to bombard with two battleships and two cruisers. So that's two at four and two at two. Maybe we'll just angle this down a little bit. There we go. We can move that around somewhere else. Okay, so two at four. And let's do the light. The, the blue ones are the battleships at four. And the blacks are the cruisers at two. And we got no hits. All right. There is a commander in there. So we're going to attack with... Um, there's no river either. Well, there's a river, but it's only between Belgium and the Netherlands. So it doesn't matter here. So we got four infantry. We got four infantry at three. That's one hit. We've got um, how many tanks is that? Two, four, five. Five tanks at six, but there's a commander, so they're at seven. And that's one, two. Three, four, and we already had the previous hit that I took off from the infantry. Two, four, five hits. That's all there. That's it. That's all we needed. All right. Now, they're going to roll four infantry at four in defense. Great for tech, though. And one tank at five. That's a hit. So we're going to have to lose that guy off the amphibious assault. Which means we lose that guy off the marines. That was one round. We didn't even fire with the jets or anything. So these guys are done. The Netherlands go down two. And the Germans collected Navy base. And a minor factory. So, and they lose a marine here. So they got two marines, an infantry. And I know this is going to sound crazy. I got this other attack there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, three. We're going to take three tanks. And we're going to take two advanced mechs. OK, 
Okay, how do I? No, we're going to take three advanced mechs and we're going to leave two behind. So two of these. And we'll just take two tanks. And we'll just take that one off, put a scope down. I know it's a pain in the butt, but I need to make sure I'm not taking too many dudes in there. So that is the Netherlands. And I have three advanced mechs, so we're going to switch the green out for two and a sculpt. I have to do the same thing with the tanks there, so otherwise you accidentally bring too many dudes along. So these guys are going to blitz into Belgium. I believe you can blitz. Yeah, let me pause this for a second. Okay, I was just checking and rivers don't block blitzing, so that's all I wanted to know. I didn't want to do something and then have to come back and say, oops, I'm not allowed to do that. Let's do that again. All right. So, we are attacking with two, one, two, three, four, five, light, five advanced mechs, four tanks, a jet, a medium bomber, and a fighter. So, let's do some, let's do some rolling. Alright, we're going to do the um, four tanks first. And there's a commander here as well. So we're going to do the four tanks and a fighter all together. That's four tanks and a fighter. They all roll six, but they're bumped up to seven. And we've got one, two hits. All right, let's roll that jet at nine. Miss. Oof. Medium bomber at eight. That's another hit. And what do we got for mix there? I said five, right? Five mix. Five mix. And these are at. Normally they attack, these are advanced mechs, they attack at four, but the commander gives them to five. So we got three more hits, and is that and how many we needed? We just needed five, so yeah, we got one more hit than we needed, and we won't roll the rest of the infantry. All right, so we got five infantry back. My four. One hit. And rivers are just like um, amphibious assaults on on uh, selecting losses. So losses must come from those suffering a river penalty first. And the river penalty applies to... Um, here, let's show this here. The river... Where's my stick? There we go. The river from Netherlands to Belgium affects these blitzing units. And we lost one, so I'm going to lose them advanced mech there. So I'm just going to take the dude off the top. We're going to combine him with this other stack here. All right, so that's in Belgium. These guys are no longer in Belgium. So there's two dudes, a commander, four advanced mechs, and four tanks. Now let's just switch that out for a green one. There we go. So that's the end result. Um, Belgium goes down one, or sorry, two. And the Netherlands goes down two. So Germany is actually going to go up four. But Belgium controls that location, or that's a Belgian colony over there. So what we need to do is slap down. A British roundel on that and swapped it out for a British militia. So that four up for the Germans, one up for the British. Now that's the only Belgian location I could find. Um, those are my two attacks, my strategics, my convoys. Okay, that's it for that. So let's see if we can't do this a little bit better from over here. I keep shaking when I try to show that stuff. There. Ah, it's no better. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. So the Germans go up four from 62 to 66. 
Uh, the British go down or up one, and the Netherlands go down two. The Netherlands are at war. Uh, the rules say they don't get a commander, and they lost their capital. So the Netherlands also lose their income. Which means they have no money to build anything this turn. So, we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, that is the German turn. Germany's going to collect their 66 bucks. Plus, they got to do a wartime economy roll. And let's see what we get for that. Wartime economy. Six. All right, so Germany gets 66 bucks, plus six for the wartime economy, plus 15 for their bonuses. Uh, Romania, Sweden, Narvik, Civil War, and Iraq. There's another one there I'm not quite remembering. The last time it was 15. I'm just going to double check them here. So... Where are we here? Um, Sweden, three bucks. Narvik, one. National Civil War, that's another one, so that's five. Romania, there we go, another three. So we're up at eight. Um, Iraq, they got that one, so we're from eight to ten. And, oh, and the pact with Russia, so they go up another five. So 15 bucks worth of uh, bonuses. I couldn't remember what that was. So 15 bucks of bonuses and six dollars plus their 66 income and we need to play some of these units so i'm just gonna crank that down a little bit there we go and i gotta grab these two light carriers that we're gonna place so we've uh Made ourselves a handful of units. We got two light care. Oh, non combat moves. I'm going to non combat this guy here. We're going to scoop two of these dudes up and we're going to drop them off in uh, Western Germany for now. All right. So we're leaving this one destroyer out here as a blocker. Um, we need to land these aircraft. Um, where do we have? One, two, three. So we're going to place these two here and the jet that attacked there is going to land on one of these and the jet that attacked Belgium is one, two, three, four. Oh, he doesn't have enough space so he's going to land here along with the two fighters and let's throw the medium bomber in there too. That's just landing them. We're going to non-combat move those two guys in with the strategic rocket. We don't want somebody to come in there and land on it and take it away. Um, this dude's, this whole navy I'm going to have to piece out here in a bit. So that's two units placed there. Three, because we're going to place a jet there and he's going to land on there. Um... We got to place another jet somewhere. Um, let's throw him in. Uh... Oh no, it's an advanced unit. I can only place him in my home country. A jet in Germany. Along with... Um... So that's three minutes. We're going to place two more tanks on this spot. And I was going to put five advanced mechs in Germany. Or in... in... In the home country but if we're putting a jet there we'll just put four and we'll put this other advanced mech has to be built in the home country so we're just going to throw an advanced mech down here all right can't exceed my builds um so that is no we're not going to put those guys there so that's one two three builds 
We're also going to place an advanced submarine in there. That's four. And these five subs we're going to put back down here. And we'll put one tank in here. And we'll put the other tank over there. All right. I can't exceed my builds, right? So I got five, I got five, I got two, I got five here at this factory, but they're placed at that shipyard. And then I got, um, well, I can place five units at the, sh at the shipyard and the factory doesn't matter directly because it's attached by rail. So I can put five C units in there. So we placed one, whatever, one, two, three, Let's give them two more subs, four or five. And then these three subs, just to be a dink, because I'm having a lot of fun with Germany being a dink to everybody, we are going to place right here. No, nope. let's place them right here. That way we can... Uh, Combine that fleet together. This is just a blocker lonely. That's a blocker lonely. So nothing can swing by. I mean, the British can can open for the Americans, which is cool. I don't care what fleet I kill, but this this fleet here is designed specifically to kill either this fleet or that fleet. That's it. I don't have any other purpose for them. Oh, non-combat moves continue. Forgot to move these guys too. And we'll just throw them in, we can move six, so one, two, three, four. Let's throw them in Paris here. Nope, we'll throw them in uh, this place here. One, two, three, four. And same, same number of moves. Right back where they were placed. Kind of central. I can go anywhere I want now with those guys. All right, that was a really long German turn. So they collect their $66 plus an extra six bonus and 15. So what do we got here? Two, four, 66. And then add another six to make it 72 plus another 15. Brings it up to 87. Not a uh, half bad. Uh, Income. All right, um, that's that. Actually, I have a lot less money than I had last time, but uh, oh no, I brought some up from the other side. Next, we're gonna do Russia. I have no idea what Russia's gonna do with their um, fifty-nine dollars. And now that the uh, the um, Dutch are allies, it might change. Russia's attitude because Russia can't attack the Netherlands without attacking Britain at the same time So that might change things up here. It's definitely going to change things up for Japan Japan might not appreciate having a little extra Navy to fight along with this stuff But Japan should be able to do something good. Well, yeah, that's three three navies. I don't know Japan's like you're an asshole anyway We'll see what happens on the Russian turn, and maybe Japan won't think they're an asshole. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but we got three Soviet commanders. There's a reason for that. The Soviets were going to attack the Netherlands, but now it's the Allies. So they're still going to attack the Netherlands. They're just going to attack the Allies, period, everywhere. So the Soviets are going to build three Katyushkas. I believe that's five. It could be six. Six uh, advanced mechs, three tanks, a tech roll, because they get a free one. And they're buying a second one. And they're going to lend lease one mountain militia, or one mountain infantry to the CCP. Who cannot attack anything this turn, so they're just going to collect a buck. All right. Um, let's see. Did I zoom back out again? Yes, there we go. So, look at that. The Russians took a transport from here, loaded up in... Those two dudes and went one, two, and dropped that off there. There's no real threat of a British counterattack on that side, so they didn't really care. And it's kind of out of the range of this aircraft, who's going to be really occupied. 
Uh, the German, the Russians also took these two units into Punjab and these two units into Bombay. So there we go. And there's that. Um, now Russia also is going to attack the Netherlands. So they will again anyway here. This um, here is still on the boats. I don't want to do the land attack unless I have the aircraft that come with the boats. So we're going to do the naval attack first. And we'll see what happens out of that. Um, the Dutch don't have any money, so they can't build anything to replace anything this turn. So they're going to just crush the Navy first. And we'll see where we go with these units. So they're technically in the same zone. I just didn't want to... There's no room in there, so we'll see what happens with the Dutch and the and the and the, uh, and the Russians. So, really, I don't have a lot of else to do with the Russians. So let's um, do their two tip rules first. Let's get that over and done with, and then we can move on to bigger and better things. All right, wartime economy seven or higher. Yes, I mean they've completed that. Um, and improved shipyards. Fail. They've joined the crowd. The wartime economy. Everybody but the U.S. All right. Um, quite sure how I want to roll this out here. Let me just move this card down here so we can take a peek at what we got. Okay, and we lost two cruisers on the slide. All right. So those are our two navies. And this fight will be occurring in sea zone. 132. Nobody has a commander, so we're face value on everything here. And you know what? I think I might be able to get this going the other direction here. We go. There we go. I'm just going to move this fleet over there so it's easier to see what's going on. Um, you guys probably don't need me to piece anything out. This is a heavy or battle cruiser, so it will be attack seven, defense seven, but it is, and the aircraft was on combat air patrol. So it is involved in the fight. That's why it was there in case this happened. I was expecting more Japanese to do this, but um, the game has flowed in mysterious ways so far. So, all right. So the Russians are attacking first. Um, these guys have no fighters, so it doesn't matter. But the Russians have two fighters, so their air superiority round. They're going to roll two fighters at six. Any hits kill the plane for sure. And they got. One hit, so this plant is dead. I'm just gonna move the dead guys over here. Now let's make this easier. Anybody who's not alive is off the card. And this is a torpedo boat destroyer, obviously. All right. Not alive, off the card. There we go, the two fleets. All right, um, that's the two fighters, the torpedo, or this is, will be a tactical bomber at seven with target select, miss. Now uh, we got two cruisers at six. That's two more hits. Uh, where's my other dice? There we go. Black for the Russians here. Two more hits. Um, now we've got three destroyers. That's four. You did get one more hit there. That's a two. Do you even see that? Do you even care? There you go. One more hit for a two. And now we have four subs. Attacking at three with the first uh, 
with the target select at one. And one more hit, no target select, so that's four hits. And do the light carriers attack? No, they do not. They have attack value of zero. All right. Now, let's see what the uh, Dutch are going to do back. Um, I would probably lose this guy. And I didn't show the uh, aircraft hits, so that's automatically off. Which is actually five hits, so... Um, if you're going to take some losses, you'd probably lose Torpedo Boat Destroyer, a sub, and you got two more hits to take. And you'd probably take these guys, because at least these guys will shoot harder two rounds in a row, and you can't pick that. So let's see what we roll. We're going to be rolling uh, one at seven, one at six, um, three at four, one at three, one at two. All right. So let's take a peek here. Heavy cruiser at seven. That is a hit. Uh, regular cruiser at six. That's a nine, so miss. We got um, two destroyers and the seaplane in blue at four. That's one more hit. That's not a lot of hits. And. A sub at three and a torpedo boat destroyer at two. All right, so two hits. So the Russians will probably lose two subs. All right, so these are the deceased from the battle. Now the Russians are going to start rolling again. Obviously, there's no air superiority, so. I'm just going to roll the tactical at seven and the two fighters and the two cruisers together at six. All right, so tactical at seven. That's a hit. And the two cruisers and two fighters at six. That is one more hit. So that's two hits. That's all we needed. As you can see, Transport doesn't get to keep a hit, so cruiser and battle cruiser are off. Now they're gonna roll back. So we're gonna roll one at seven, miss, one at six, hit. So, excuse me there. I'm standing right underneath the heat register. My heat's been going off pretty good. It's minus 30 degrees Celsius outside, so let's go to 35 tonight. Once it starts getting darker and colder. And then it gets windy too, so that's not wind chill BS. That's the thermometer temperature. I can't stand that wind chill stuff. All right, so this fleet card is here. This one has been eliminated. All right, so I'm just going to leave this fleet card right where it is, and I'm going to move these uh, transports onto the card, along with these Marines. Infantry, uh, and a tank. We were going to do an amphibious assault, but I, if I'm going to do that against that stack, I want to bring those, fight, those two fighters in the tactical one. Those will hit harder than all that infantry. And that one tank is not going to help me much. And bombards of two and one. Yeah. They're not very good. Not something I would uh, rely on. All right. So Russia is done. It's combat there. That's the only real combat. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the, the uh, Australians want to tangle with that Navy. Because uh, the Australians have a battle cruiser, a cruiser, a light cruiser. So they've got one more cruiser, but it's really more like a destroyer. Single destroyer, a single sub, and one carrier with one tack. Um, yeah, the Russians would probably win handily if there was a fight between the two. So we'll see what happens. Russia's just doing this because this is the only Navy... That could kill the Russian Navy to prevent stuff like this from happening. So now Russia is going to start gobbling as much as it can ahead of 
these Italians and it may turn into a nasty mess over here <laughs> with Italy and Russia just going nuts trying to steal stuff from each before the other guy can steal it right anyhow we'll see what what works out there what transpires um yeah that is basically the russian turn uh non-combats we should probably do a couple here um we pretty much denuded this area of troops so what we're going to start doing is we're going to start doing some movements down from up above here so we're going to move these two dudes down to there definitely don't want to lose that we don't want to lose that we're going to lose, move all this stuff down to here except we're going to take two advanced mechs to there with a heavy tank just in case the British get crazy and start counterattacking us instead of dealing with the Japanese I don't know why they would do that but whatever you never know when you're and I've thought oh that's dumb and then that was my turn and I'm like oh I'm gonna do it so they'll bring these three Katyushkas down. Where are they going to move? Move to there. And these aircraft we're going to throw into here for now. There, so re replacement aircraft in case we lose the p aircraft off of that. <laughs> oh, Russia's going to be an asshole. I love playing Russia as an asshole. Um, we're going to just park that stuff. You know what? We might want to move some of that stuff along the line here. I'm just going to back off a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So the combined Japanese-Russian border, we need to have twice as many units. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move some of these units to here. Two. And let's move two advanced mechs. And we're just going to take one of these Katyushkas off. I'll move them over there. Just so that we can put them on the border. And because these militia apparently count as a unit, right? So that's one, two. And we got two, four. But we want to make sure that we got, uh, well, now we got four more. And these guys can easily get in range, move down to there. What I mean? Should be easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna place some units. We are gonna place. I can't tell if you can see anything. So we are going to place one mountain, and then at least across the border here. Pretty sure he can walk across the border. All right. Um, two Katyushkas in the capital. And um, we're going to put one tank and one advanced mech in Nova Brisk. And then these are advanced mechs as well. So we're going to stick two advanced mechs here. So I'm just putting up my stacks here. Two advanced mechs there with that heavy tank. And we're going to put a tank here tank here and we got two more advanced mechs to place somewhere so what we're gonna do is we're gonna oh I'm cheating it's two in the sculpt on top right one in the sculpt on top you wonder how do we get two extra tanks um and these two are gonna go up here as well because we trust no one probably the smartest philosophy to have in this game All right so advanced mechs and advanced mechs there may come a time when I run out of mechs as Russia that's when I'll start using the yellow mechs from the CCP and when I'm using those that's a sign that Russia's got way too many stacks of shit it's too scattered right they got da, 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 you know what I mean they're all over the place those yellows I like what Germany's doing. It's got little yellow tabs everywhere. But uh, sometimes it's nice to have your stuff spread around. So yeah, that's the big development for Russia, is that. Oh, and wartime economy was successful.
And it went up in income one dollar on the British, and so the British go down, but that's the FEC British. And it took Aiden, so it took a point away from them. All right, so Russia goes up a book. FEC goes down a dollar to ten, tied with the um, tied with the Dutch. Let's see what the Netherlands does now. Now the du the Russians don't have to worry about any Allied navies. Maybe the Australians. The, the Americans are going to be way too busy with the real threat, which is the uh, which is the um, what do you call it? Yeah, Japanese. All right. And next we have Japan. Oh, and wartime economy. So Russia is actually going to pay, collect $60 because it's got um, the Molotov Ribbentrop pack for three and 57 income. So it's already got that in the bank. And we're going to do this um, wartime economy roll. So 2d6. And let's see if we can't make ourselves 12 bucks. Huh, pretty damn close. 11 works. All right, so Russia was making $60 at 11, or at 71. Russia's turning into a monster here. 71 bucks. And it's only a war with the Allies, who the only ones that can reach are the white dudes there, but they're a war with the Japan. Uh, the teal or ocean breeze colored dudes there. They can reach, but they're also at war with Japan. The orange guys, which have no navy, except for, well, they got one coastal sub, war with Japan. And these tan guys, they got one militia down there, and those two dudes in the militia there. Otherwise, there's nobody, oh, and they're green, but they're busy. They're all way over here. All right, so that is the Russian turn. My one, my new stand is much nicer, but it's a little bouncy when I put it down. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, Rush is done. Enjoy the game. Japan's next.